is going on everybody resale rabbit here and can you guess where i am i hope you can because it's in the title i'm in las vegas now this is actually a leisure trip me and my girlfriend are here just sightseeing enjoying a little vacation some warm weather this is my first time wearing shorts in about 15 years or at least that's what it feels like it's cold in wisconsin in case you didn't know um but she has some work stuff to do right now so i'm killing some time and I'm at Savers, and I am so excited. I haven't been to Savers in so long. So we flew Spirit Airlines here. Big mistake. Don't. I wouldn't recommend it. The seats are tiny. But anyways, uh, we can't even have a carry-on. We can only have the uh, personal item. So I have very limited space. So most of the stuff that I show you that's worth money, I'm probably not going to buy unless it's really good and it's worth shipping it to Green Bay. Probably not going to do that. But anyways, let's go inside and see what we can find. So I've probably been to the Savers before. I think I hit all the major thrift stores in Vegas. Last time I was here I was with Jameson and a professional camera crew-ish. So it's a little different this time. So I love the bag wall right here. This calculator, five bucks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this other stuff. Probably just donate it back. Uh, 25 bucks online. So right here is something to look out for. Dehumidifiers. Um, these things, a lot of them, a lot were, you'll find them from time to time or under recall. You want to look up the serial number and everything. If it's under recall, it's a fire hazard, meaning the manufacturer will send you a check for full retail price. And then you have to like cut off the cord and everything and prove that you're disposing of it. But I've gotten two, three hundred bucks for a dehumidifier. It takes like six weeks to get a check, but when you get them super cheap, what does this one cost? Oh, that one's 70. But even then, it might still be worth looking up because if they're giving you full retail, if this is under recall, you could potentially get a couple hundred bucks. And then you just have to throw it away when you're done. I wonder if they'd let me take these on the plane. Not a whole lot in the display cases. It's mostly jewelry, but the display cases are a lot more plentiful than what I remember last time I was here. When do thrift stores have self checkouts? That was new. For the amount of like tank switching and everything you see at thrift stores, I'm very surprised that they were willing to put those in there. But anyways, there's a donation bin on the way out, so I kept the calculator, donated the rest. This will easy fit, easily fit into my luggage. Should profit about 20 bucks, uh, which means I could write this whole trip off, right? Any tax advisors out there, can I write off like a $2,000 vacation if I made 20 bucks in one thrift store? Something tells me that's not going to fly. So anyways, let's go to the next store. Let's see if we can find a couple thousand dollars worth of profit that will fit in my suitcase. So maybe I can write this off. That'd be nice. By the way, you're going to want to check out the other channel. There's going to be a link for it down below. I am vlogging this whole trip. It's on the other channel because there's nothing resale related in it. The resale stuff you know, here you're seeing on this channel. So if you want to see my girlfriend and I going to different things and doing stuff and exploring Las Vegas, then you'll definitely want to check out down there. And there are other vlog videos where we went to Atlanta and Tennessee and, and videos of me remodeling my house, or at least attempting to. All of that and more. There isn't more, but eventually there will be more down below. What's John doing? That's my shameless. This, <clears throat> this video is sponsored by me. I should have put that beforehand. I know I could do that post and just literally snip that little part of the clip and move it over to the beginning of this but I'm not going to you should know here by now that we don't do that type of stuff at this organization so let's go to the next door that is a Wisconsin license plate all the way out here in Nevada what are the odds it's an armored truck online 15 here uh, but you would need to sell it on Amazon you would need the remote on eBay maybe you can get like 80 90 bucks for it I will not be getting it because I will not be able to fit that in my bag but it's kind of a shame to leave stuff like this behind this is just a player right yeah if it was a recorder it would be some serious money then I would maybe consider shipping it back but uh, not doing that now what do we have here for cameras I was like about film cameras Nothing. You want to look for like the brand name ones, Minolta, Canon. Now here's a good one. 
eight bucks. Let me look this up because this should be about 20 or 30. So it is $7.99, decently ranked, no FBA offers, currently priced at 40. You would get 31 after fees. I would probably price this at 50, 49.99, uh, just because there are no FBA offers. I'm not gonna buy it because it's not gonna fit in my bag. Boy, is it tempting. Here's a good one. A whole bunch of these dog chairs. Like three big stacks of them here. They're eight dollars each. You could probably put these on Facebook Marketplace for like 20 bucks each. They're brand new. It's a little more work than I'm willing to do, but if you're just starting out, it's not a bad thing to do. <laughs> That is my kind of humor. So I am getting one thing, a book for the flight back, <laughs> two bucks. He's a funny comedian. Maybe his book would be interesting. So there are no lines painted on the ground. So this is how everyone parks. This is what it looks like after a snowstorm in Wisconsin when you can't see the lines. Another Goodwill. This one looks quite a bit nicer. Let's see what it looks like inside. So just on first glance, the furniture looks a lot better quality than the other one. There you go. You can get 250 hours free for only three bucks. There we go. We got three of these Wakanda Botanical Garden shirts. They're new with tags from Box Lunch. They were $28.90. I couldn't find anything with these on eBay, no active or sold, but at four bucks each, I feel like it'd be worth grabbing these and see if maybe we can get, I would probably list them right at that. You know what, I could probably fit these in my bag. I'm gonna grab these. So I noticed right here, a Superman shirt and it's got that sticking out of it. And then there were others in here there's the other one that I just saw right here. These are all box lunch shirts. I might need this one just for myself, but they took the tags off them all. They just ripped the tags off. So could sell these as new other, I don't know. I might grab all of these and just see what I can do with them. So keep an eye out when you see these cameras. The cameras aren't worth anything, but you want to pop off, oh, I can't do that with one hand, the back here. And in this case, it's just a floppy, but sometimes it's an SD card adapter that will go in those. Those are big money. So if you're local to Las Vegas, I only grabbed a handful of those box lunch shirts just because, well, this is a very uncomfortable couch. I'm like laying down to sit up. I only grabbed a couple of them because I have very little space in my bag. So American Paradise Drive, I think is the name of the road here in Henderson. If you're local, come check out this Goodwill. It is March 27th when, I, when I'm here right now. They don't, most of them don't have tags on them. Although I did find this one that does. Most of them, they just tore it off. So right at the collar, you're gonna wanna look at the little plastic thing that sticks out. So if you're local, you might wanna grab a bunch of those. So, as I was checking out, a guy casually walked up to the door carrying what looked like an old printer. And the lady goes, sir, sir, and as soon as he got to the door, he sprinted. Who steals an old broken printer from Goodwill? It probably costs four bucks, and it probably doesn't work. Has a printer ever in the history of thrift stores worked? I don't think so. So anyways, I bought a few shirts. My bag is really, like, I'm seriously traveling with a backpack. I, I don't even have my suitcase with me, so it's really full. There were probably 20 or 25 t-shirts there that I would have bought four bucks each, probably listed at $24.99 free shipping on eBay. I grabbed a couple, the more interesting ones, and the Back to the Future one. Let's be real here. I'm not going to sell that. That one's for me. So definitely, if you're local, get over to this Goodwill. Um, I looked in the sweatshirts and didn't see anything from Box Lunch, but that doesn't mean it's not going to come out later. So, 
I am at Savers. This will probably be the last store of the day. Let me show you how you know you're in Las Vegas. So Savers parking lot and a couple of beers. A couple of resellers must have uh, not found too much. They need to drown their sorrows away. I can relate. Oftentimes these are worth looking at. I'm not gonna bother looking it up right now. Well, I suppose. Let's look it up. Uh, let's see, 30 bucks. Oh, hold on, those are new. This might be new. It's tough to say. Yeah, I think this is new. Same tape with the same folds on both sides. I'm gonna say this is probably new. It's about 30 bucks on eBay. And now Amazon. Not worth it used on Amazon, but definitely new. And look at that rank. So this, at 20 bucks probably isn't worth it, but I always look up Sony stuff that I don't recognize. If it had the speakers, it'd be good money. The unit only, about 60 bucks shipped. Eh, you might double your money, but uh, obviously I'm not getting it because I can't bring that with me, but it could be worthwhile. Huh, I bought this exact same lamp at Goodwill in Milwaukee. Those are always interesting, the solo cup things. Uh, let's see, oh, here you go. I bet this is at least a hundred bucks. It's a DVD recorder. Let's look it up. On Amazon, I looked up right there, D-KR10. Uh, let's see, 77 bucks after fees. You will need uh, the remote to be compliant with Amazon. On eBay, with the remote, 112. Without the remote, 60 plus shipping. There's 80, 49 plus shipping. They only want 10 bucks for it. So this would be a great item if I were local. And if you are local, you should go to all of these stores. This is the Savers that's nearest to the Goodwill I was just at. So let's see, I mean, you probably make 50, 60 bucks there, maybe 20 here. Remember how I said I always look up Sony stuff? This has potential to be a home run. Uh, Sony CDP S39. It looks weird, so that's why I looked it up. Uh, there's one listed for parts. It doesn't even work and it's 50 bucks. No other listed or sold ones. This is one that I would probably buy and if it works, I'd probably list for 500 bucks. Now there's absolutely no way this is gonna sell for 500 bucks, but I'd hope to get an offer and I'll just make a decision on what I'm gonna sell it for based on the offers. Realistically, I'd probably get 75 to 100 bucks. But since I don't have any prices to go off of, start high and sit on it for a year if you have to, because you never know. And that looks like about it for this area. But I would definitely, especially for seven bucks, I would definitely take a gamble on this. Um, I'm obviously not buying it because again, my bag is really full. But you know, that, 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 and then the, uh, what was it, the converter box I showed you. Here's a phone case for you. Looks like a pack of cigarettes. I found that amusing. So I just showed you Canon battery charger. Those are usually good for about 15 to 20 bucks online. Um, it was four. Also really good to just have in case you find a camera that needs it. And an original Xbox controller for six. I didn't look it up. Those used to be about 20 bucks or so. Probably a good purchase, but it's been a long time since I've sold them. So, I just got the text that she is just about done with work. So that means I'm gonna head back to the strip and um, to the hotel. And I don't know what we're gonna do, but that's not gonna be in this video. So, I only bought a couple things, mostly because very limited on space. And I, I skipped a lot of sections of the store too because I'm limited on time. Sound like there's a bike rolling up on me. So, I guess that's all I got from this video. It was fun, bought a couple things, made a couple bucks, but I was able, this is the important part, I was able to kill about two and a half hours of time. And that's what I was looking for. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go down below and check out in the description of this video, the other channel where you'll see the other things I'm up to. I'll see you in the next one.